day after Victoria Day. We have some good weather. A lot of pickerel boats are out right now. Uh, you got some old timers fishing old school hand bombing technique over here. And they just actually put one in the net. So they're fishing with either a little jig or a little spoon, just by hand, just jigging beside the boat. This close to shore, the silver bass are also running. So we'll likely catch some silver bass. If you go down the river, there'll be hundreds of people fishing for silver bass. They'll set up at the mouth of Lake St. Clair, even Pesh Island, and just float, and just let their boats float all the way down the, down the bridge and then come back up and then do it again all day long. A lot of people question eating fish from the Detroit River. Obviously, it's a pretty fair question. A lot of the years and years of pollution and toxins settle in the sediment in the bottom of the, of the waterways. And uh, those, are the those are specifically the fish that are to be avoided, like uh, any of the bottom feeders, the carp or the catfish or the sheephead. Anything that's on a migration, like the pickerel, the perch, when they're running the silver bass, they're, gonna, they're passing through, they're here for 24 to 48 hours on their way to Lake Erie. Those are the fish that end up, that turn up on your menus when you go to a restaurant and get fried perch or fried pickerel. Silver bass. This here is a silver bass or a white bass. This is what everyone on the river right now is fishing. This guy's gonna squeeze some juice out on us. This is what they do this time of year. You can see the lines on here too. Jesus!